Mac OS includes a number of tools that some people use daily and other people don't even know they're installed on their Mac. And I just want to cover three of those apps that are kind of hidden and you don't necessarily need to use them all the time. But we're going to start with Notes. Uh, Notes has a, become a pretty powerful app recently and it allows you to do a number of the things you see here on the screen. But I'm just going to hit continue and you can turn on iCloud to have this information sync between your Macs your iPhone, iPad, any of your Apple devices that you're signed into iCloud with. So strongly recommend doing that, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in another video. But here's the Notes app. It's very simple. There's a left column where you can store groups or folders of notes. So you just hit the plus at the bottom left to create a folder for your notes. So especially if you're taking notes on your videos, you might have a uh, Final Cut group. So you can create that group of notes. And then you have it there on the left side. And so right now we don't have any notes. It doesn't really matter what we do here with these groups. We can't do anything with them. So that's what the second column is going to be for. This is where we'll see our list of notes. And at the top on the toolbar, you can just hit this button here or hit Command N to create a new note. There's our new note. And on the right side, you can start typing in what you want to look at. So we'll just put in a little reminder there and then below that you could type in all kinds of other things it's just a simple notepad there's nothing more to it but there are many tools built into these notes uh, apps that you can use to add things like photos drawings tables and charts you can even create a checklist inside of this note and everything you do here if you have it set up with iCloud will sync to iCloud and then over to your other devices so in this case these groups are all on my Mac so they're local they're only on this account and this computer if I wanted to put this note into one of the groups, I'll just click and drag it over to the Final Cut group, and now it's been added there. So very easy to create notes, uh, remind you of things, especially if you want to have a checklist, maybe you're working with another editor, and you want to compare notes, you can do that right here. The next app I want to talk about that's also built in is the Address Book app. So that one is here. I have no context in this uh, account here. But here we do, we, we'll just use this one uh, contact that it created for the user account, which we know it's for this user account because it has a little silhouette icon next to it. And then what, what that means is any of the information that's on this address book card will be used as autofill for things like Safari and other areas on your Mac. And this is something where it'll actually take this information and when you share a video from Final Cut, say onto YouTube or just even out onto your computer and save it, information from this address book actually gets pulled in and tagged on the videos that you create as the metadata. So uh, all of these apps work together, including with Final Cut. So you just, when you're on a card here, you can edit in the little right corner. Maybe the option to put in all the information for this here. So in this case, if this is a company card, I can actually check the box. It'll put the company name first, and I can type that right at the top here and put in that name. We get options to put in the info. We can customize the picture that's being used. Uh, any of this information, you can use the drop down menu to make changes to the labels, say for a phone number or for an email address. Uh, if I know this is the main number, I might not use home or work, I'll just use a custom name and we'll kind of the main email line and then I can type that in right here. So very straightforward, very simple apps. There's not too much to this, especially if you're used to using a pro app like Final Cut. It's pretty straightforward. But again, just like Notes, it'll sync over through iCloud if you're using it. Uh, one little feature I want to point out with the address book is if you go up to the top here and go into the contact preferences, you have options to customize the template and what fields are being used when you enter in addresses. So if you tend to do this pretty frequently, Go in here to the preferences. You can change the contact app so it doesn't show certain fields. If you're never putting in uh, websites or phone numbers or like a birthday, for example, just use the minus on the left side to remove that field. It's very frequent uh, that I'll put in addresses and um, sorry, email addresses and phone numbers, but a lot of times I'm not using the physical address anymore for a lot of contacts. So maybe that's a field you want to remove. And you can do that here. And you can also add fields. There's a couple fields that are not listed by default, so you can actually go in here and add a uh, specific field. So if I want a Twitter handle, for example, I can go up and add that, and now the Twitter handle will be used, and I can add that right in very easily. 
So that's something you can use inside of the contact preferences to customize the way your address book looks. And then the third app I want to talk about is simply the calendar, which we have back here. A uh, calendar is a great way to stay organized. At the top center, you can switch between your various views. Uh, me personally, I usually use the week view and I'll plan out my weeks in this view. I'll usually resize this window as well so I can uh, uh, see more of it. You notice on the left side, we have our hours for the day are listed. And then to add an event, just click and drag across the part you want to add an event in. We see a new event pops up in this little window. We can type in what we're going to be showing here. So maybe this is going to be for our live stream. So we'll set that up. Top right corner here, this little blue dot here, this is actually the calendar that's going to be listed under. So this color-coded uh, way of kind of customizing your calendar. So in this case, it's a work calendar or work event. So I'll add it to the work calendar. Top left corner, you can hit the calendars button to see all of those calendars. And again, just like the other ones, these are on my Mac currently, but you could set up an iCloud account so they're synced between all of your devices. You can also use the plus at the top here to create a new event. This is a quick way of doing it. Just type in something like it says here, movie at 7 p.m. or something's happening on Friday and it'll put it into that location. So it's a quick way to add things to your calendar. Now in this case, I know that this live stream not going to happen today. It's actually going to be on the first of the month. So I'll switch over to the month view. I can actually see the event here and just click and drag this right over the first. And that changes where that event is. I can see earlier I created this event by accident. So I just click on it, hit the delete key on the keyboard to remove that. All very easy to customize and change the way the calendar looks. So don't hesitate to use these apps. They're very easy to use and they can be very powerful, especially if you're using iCloud to sync those uh, contacts, calendars, and notes between all of your devices so you always have access to them. Um, how do you use these apps? Or are you looking for ways to use them that I didn't cover? Just put it in the comments below and make sure to, to subscribe. We're going to have a video tomorrow talking a little bit more about Apple IDs and iCloud. So if you have any issues with that and getting these apps to sync with iCloud, we're going to talk about that on tomorrow's video. So otherwise, uh, again, if you're watching these as they come out, I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving week, and we'll see you all on the next one.